Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah Allah family Welcome to the channel You beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself A wonderful day I miss you guys It's been so long I'm glad to be making another video In today's video guys We'll be reacting to a news clip The video was suggested by Churul Muskin Terima kasih Thank you very much Shukran Merci for your kind uh, suggestion The video is by TV1 News And the link is in the description In case you guys wanted to check it out So let's not uh, take too much time guys Let's get into the video Okay, so let's see what this news clip's all about. Nice, it's in English. The language of Indonesia is a beautiful language that keeps the world's biggest archipelago together. Among its supporters is a former Jakarta Post editor living back in England who mm, hasn't England. stopped using or promoting it. English is considered the international language of business, but there are those who believe Indonesian could take its place as an alternative or at least in the ASEAN region. Wow. Supporters point to its relatively easy pronunciation and structure and familiarity in other countries, including Malaysia and Australia. Bruce Iman is a former Indonesian resident, now Malaysia living in Canterbury in the United Kingdom. He spent a total of 26 years here in Indonesia, most as a journalist. Bruce, welcome. Good to see you again. Now, while living here, um, you embraced the language and culture, uh, kind of a role model for me. Um, you continued to study Bahasa Indonesia yeah. there. What is the root of your affection? Well, I think the root for me, Dalton, is the fact that Indonesian is kind of like the melting pot of so many different languages, right? So uh, my father sure. was South African. I could mention different words like uh, um, in Indonesian, ember. My father knew it, right, from South African, from Dutch. So I think with mm. Indonesian, you get to see so many different aspects of the world. I talk with my Portuguese friend. There's so many words, bonica. Uh, even the word tolo, which comes from Portuguese, garpu. I talk with um, people from different nations. So you can actually trace the history of Indonesia and also the world through wow. Bahasa Indonesia. I think actually it's very similar it's to like the a melting of, uh, part Indonesia. of the world. You see the different elements. And to me, that's a beautiful thing. And in fact, coming back to England, I've taken two classes on Bahasa Indonesia that have kind of seeing different people from different countries who are interested in Bahasa Indonesia nice. and then also hearing the plan to make Bahasa Indonesia the language of commu uh, communication for ASEAN which I think nice. is a brilliant thing and actually something that Millie said last week was very uh, very interesting to me about the pride that Indonesians today have about their culture right which is for a long time we thought that Indonesians kind of looked at Bahasa Indonesia or you know Indonesian food well um, they don't like to promote it so much right They're, they have a lot of pride when people take an interest in it so for me looking at it like you said 26 years first time when I was 17 in Padang when I was a high school years. exchange student I love the fact that I could learn Bahasa Indonesia that I could speak it that if I went to Gorontalo if I went to Sulawesi if I went to uh, you know a small island like Brote in um, the eastern part of Indonesia, we could all communicate in the same language. And that to me nice. is the beauty of it, that unity and diversity. Okay, Sanjina, question for Bruce. Um, Bruce, uh, in the olden days, the internationalization of a language uh, is usually related to so colonialism. She really well English. The invasion and conquering of a colony gives birth to the use of the invader's language. Uh, this was how English uh, French, Spanish, uh, and Portuguese, uh, just to name a few, became the new language in the international community hmm. and became a communication tool used amongst different countries. Now, lately, this theory has been revised. Colonialism is no longer seen as the important variable, but it is the domestic economic scale and international trade strength of that country. This is why we've seen lately Mandarin has gained uh, such popularity. So, in your opinion, Bruce, does Indonesia have the potential uh, to become such a strong and important For sure. economy that For sure, sure. Use of Indonesia? Two hundred and like seventy million, thirty million people, at least in Southeast Asia or even the world. Oh, I certainly do, um, uh, Sandri. I mean, you look uh, Indonesian. Okay, you find it in Malaysia, of course, but. Uh, you know, Tagalog, it has many of the Akko, Sakit, many of the same words that we have, the basic words. And I think if you use uh, ASEAN as the launching pad, certainly as a 
form of communication. Indonesian is can be simple, but it's not simplistic, right? It's not going to overtake French or English as a language of diplomacy, but mm -hmm. certainly in ASEAN, I think it should be. And I'm always um, interested in seeing that other students who are taking part in the Bahasa Indonesia classes that would be really take cool. here from the Indonesian embassy or from SOAS, um, from all over the world, interested in Indonesian, fascinated by Indonesian. And you're having a lot of standardization of Bahasa Indonesia in the last few years. And that's a brilliant thing, right? To nice. make it a formal language that people can communicate in, right? And not mm -hmm. not just dismiss it as, oh, Bahasa Pasa, the language of the market. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah. I'm having a cup of Java, which is a slang, <laughs> nice. which originated here. Um, and, and, and one more point, I think Bahasa Indonesia is a lot easier to learn than Mandarin. I mean, that's mm -hmm. a given. I think Indeed. Nobody, nobody will dispute that. Okay, <laughs> Millie, question for uh, Bruce. Well, Bruce, you know Bahasa Indonesia Baku or the standard Bahasa Indonesia, nobody is using it. You know, only that's politicians true. maybe because it's too kaku and too rigid. Mm -hmm. So being, uh, being so rigid, uh, we Indonesians used to add slangs, you know, and uh, we even mix it with English. So is there any chance for this type of Bahasa Indonesia to go out globally, you think? Well, I think that, yeah, that's a very good point, Millie. I think that that's kind of the beauty of Indonesia and that word play that Indonesians have, right? The, the mixing of slang and, and it, it's, uh, it's actually quite hilarious, right? Once you got into, I think that's another, um, that's something that comes with learning the language. I think I need to start learning Bahasa. Um, and uh, that's another um, that's another step in the process, right? Um, I think a lot of people find that difficult if they've studied Bahasa Indonesia formally, and then you go to Indonesia, and people aren't saying apaka itu. Um, they're not saying in that formal way that that used to be taught, but everything's changing, Millie. There are 700 indigenous local dialects in this country Marshall, with Bahasa Indonesia the common thread. Still ahead in this hot Indonesia special, how food brings people together no matter where you live. For sure. That's really cool, guys. Inshallah, I hope uh, it does happen where, you know, more people start uh, speaking Indonesian so that way it can increase uh, trade as well as business. Uh, when they were talking about this, something came to my mind when like Islam went to Indonesia, it was because of trade right and then because of the people's honesty and integrity that's how indonesians for example became muslim and interested in, uh, in islam and you know from what they were saying was before the conquerors or the invaders that's how they used to spread their language right but now indonesian is spreading but it's more because of doing business right and uh, i think their way of life as in like interacting and being nice to people and the way Indonesians are, so that's like, I, I found that in contrast and really beautiful to see, you know, how Islam came to Indonesia in the same way now Indonesia is spreading the language to its neighboring countries in such a beautiful way. So it was really, really cool, guys. This was nice to see and actually made me happy and motivated me to, inshallah, start learning Bahasa. So really cool. Thank you for suggesting it. I just wanted to mention, guys, don't forget about the, the giveaway, the cleanup uh, contest, the links in the description. There's information. Check out the video. We have until end of uh, December to do the, any project that you might have. This is open to any of you from all over the world. All you have to do is, you know, pick a project, pick an area, uh, record the video, do some cleanup, and then, you know, send that uh, video to us. And, uh, you know, we'll do, we'll take a look at the... Uh, the videos that we get and then pick three top uh, winners so uh looking forward to seeing your videos guys best of luck thank you very much for suggesting this video i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care